humility. St. Paisius says there's really only one virtue, and that's humility. If we had it, we'd have all the virtues. If we truly have humility, we would love. We would have the love of Christ. We would have a soft heart, a forgiving heart. We would have self-control and wouldn't be stuffed full of pride and arrogance and entitlement. Hmm. Humility. It's something that's so emphasized in orthodoxy, orthodox Christian Christianity. Being humble. Just as in Catholic monasticism, we were it was emphasized to us obedience, 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 kind of institutional military style obedience, really. Orthodoxy is more interested in humility, everyone to be humble, from the superior to the to the, to the to the first visitor to the monastery. Everyone is in the same boat, we're all humble. Where pride comes in, there's no space for God. Doesn't matter if you're a Pope, if you think you're a Pope, without humility there's nothing. I heard Father Zachariah of Essex say on one of his Zooms, only humility is infallible. Only humility. Not, oh, I'm a priest, therefore, I'm a bishop, therefore, no. No entitlement with Christ. Humility, we go before Christ as a zero. He who made everything from nothing spoke us into existence. He needs us to be nothing before him in order to fill us with all of his presence. This is the unanimous voice of the Church Fathers, the Desert Fathers. St. Anthony the Abbot one time saw a vision of long grass in which there was uh, like a savanna in the desert where, and there was traps all along the, the long grass, dangerous traps. And he cried out to the Lord and said, Oh Lord, who can be saved? With what can I be saved? And the voice came back with humility. With humility. Walk with humility and you'll be walking with God before too long. Humility is a gift from God given to those who seek it. In the Desert Fathers, uh, the, the sayings of the Desert Fathers I have right here, um, we have a Desert Mother, Theodora, and she says the following, you know, she basically says, you're not going to, you are you know, you can't defeat the devil with fasting. The devil never eats with, with vigils. He never sleeps. The demons never sleep. They never eat. So how can you defeat them? How do you banish the, the demons, she says? What makes, makes you go away? And she says, it is, it, it's not fasting. It's not vigils. We do not sleep. We do not eat. It's not separation from the world. We live in the deserts. We demons. What is it then that sends you away? And they said, nothing can overcome us, but only humility. Do you see how humility is victorious over the devils, over the demons? And today, young people, they don't even know what humility means. The education system doesn't even touch it. Pride, yes. Humility, no. We even use, hum oh, I'm very humbled. I'm very humbled when somebody praises me and puts me on the stage. Oh, I'm deeply humbled. What? Is that what humility means? Humility is the prostration of the whole being of the soul before God who shows up in our agony. Humility is the woman with the hemorrhage for seven years who touches the garment of Jesus in utter need and genuine 
humility, risking all. She's healed. May the Lord grant us this beautiful gift of humility. I think when the, the grace of God touches the soul, it melts with tears, soft tears, warm tears that make a person more humble. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Pride is an utter agony for the soul. Every passion, say the desert, say the, the fathers of the church, are hell. Every passion. And pride and arrogance are very strong passions that lead us far away from God. Forgive me.